Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships the YouTube channel and welcome to a new cruise news video for the 23rd of January 2022 and happy Sunday to everybody if you're watching it in real time. Got a couple of different news pieces to put together here. Uh, I'm going to refer to the screen a couple of times so sorry if I'm looking away. I will flash up a couple of little pictures in between the talking but I just want to make sure I get the right wording for a couple of these uh, news stories. Now I'm actually going to go in reverse order I just decided right now. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Costa Cruises. Now Costa Cruise Line which is uh, owned uh, under the Carnival Corporation of Brands. Uh, predominantly sails out of Europe, uh, the Middle East. It has a few ships in the Caribbean. Um, it's an Italian cruise line essentially. Um, but uh, one of their ships uh, has decided to uh, cancel cruises and it was currently sailing out of uh, Dubai. Um, very short notice. Uh, the ship is currently in Dubai at the moment. And the next two cruises are being cancelled uh, through until the 5th of February. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, they only currently have, well, now that Firen um, Firenze has uh, cancelled, they've only got two ships sailing out of their entire fleet. Uh, they've got the um, Costa de uh, Delidosia. I always get the Costa names mixed up. Delidosia sailing in the Caribbean. Actually, that's home porting in La Romana in Dominican Republic. And they say it's sailing out of Santo Domingo, but that's where the airport is. You fly in and then actually you do Caribbean cruises uh, from uh, Dominican Republic. And their other one, Costa Luminosa, is sailing in the Mediterranean right now. I believe it's out of Italy. So yeah, Costa Cruises cancels another ship. Uh, they've not really mentioned kind of why they're just saying ongoing uh, uncertainty in the cruise industry. Um, so yeah, it's in Dubai, kind of tied up. Let's say they spend a few days in port, they go out to sea, back and forward for operational reasons. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is something I talked about in my last cruise news. You can kind of maybe watch that back if you like. It's about crystal cruises. Now, this is kind of a very big story in the cruise industry right now. It probably hasn't made your local news, but in terms of cruise ships and the cruise industry and everything that my channel's about, Kind of important so we did report in the previous cruise news that their three ocean going ships uh, have ceased operations and they do sort of plan to have them back in operation in April uh, at this stage there's no real word about that everything is a little bit on the fly right now now what's kind of interesting is uh, they've got one ship down in Antarctica which is still sailing and will end its cruise uh, February 5th, I believe, in Ushuaia. Um, it's still cruising in Antarctica. It can't just sort of pull into Antarctica and let all the guests off the ship. That would be very difficult. Uh, they do have also um, Crystal. Uh, so that's Crystal Endeavor down in Antarctica. Crystal Harmony is currently on a Caribbean cruise. Uh, it's going to end its itinerary in Aruba. Uh, so the guests will get off the ship in Aruba and then fly home from there. And the one that's kind of the really one that's sort of very polarizing at the moment is Crystal, uh, Crystal Symphony. Now that was actually going to end its itinerary in Miami, uh, effectively yesterday. And uh, they suddenly changed course in the matter of a few hours. And the ship has since uh, docked in Bimini, which is an island, a Bahamian island, just off the coast of Florida. Uh, the ship overnighted in Bimini. And then all the guests uh, disembarked there. There was uh, roughly 300 passengers on board. So it wasn't a full ship, according to its you know, uh, passenger count. And the guests were taken back from Bimini to the, to the US by a uh, high-speed catamaran. They've got a catamaran service. Uh, interestingly, Bimini has a casino there. Uh, and uh, they own the... Um, Genting Group, which is a part of the ownership of, Simf of Crystal Cruises, owns the casino there. So they basically disembarked the, the guests there. Now, the whole reason it didn't go to Florida, we think or we suspect, is there was an arrest warrant put out kind of hours before the ship was meant to arrive in Florida. 
for unpaid bills owing to a uh, petroleum company that was fueling the ships when it was when the ships were out of Florida. And it's sort of estimated that the uh, fuel company uh, was owed around about $4.7 million over three different payments that were unpaid. And this particular company put uh, uh, documents together in the local uh, law courts to have the ship arrested uh, when it would reach uh, Florida. So if when it was the dock, someone would come and give papers and essentially seize the ship and then require payment for the ship to be released. Um, it's kind of an extreme situation. It has happened in the past, um, but the ship decided to not go back to Florida and go to, the ship was actually flagged in the Bahamas. It's Bahamian flagged. So it docked in a Bahamian island. It's currently still there as of today. So 24 hours later, uh, there is no report of where it's heading, if it's gonna stay there docked or go to sea. Uh, but obviously they, didn't have the a warrant served against them. Uh, the one thing that's sort of talked about a little bit is what's gonna to happen to the crew on board. At the moment, there's no mention of that. Uh, will crew disembark? Will some be sent home? Obviously for operational reasons, uh, the ships need to have a minimum manning for the ship to be in what would be called a hot or cold layup. Uh, like all the ships in the last two years that are out of service, the ships have to still operate the uh, engine rooms, air conditioning, you know, the water lights and things like that. So they need a minimum amount of crew on board for the ship to operate. It's not a matter of sending everybody home. One guy uh, is standing at the door with a key and locks it behind him. So very sad. I mean, Crystal Cruises is one of the uh, few six star cruise lines in the world, really and truly. If you think about uh, maybe a ship you might've cruised on and how many stars it is, or it may be, Six stars is kind of next level. Um, it's very, very, uh, very sad to see what may or may not happen. Hopefully, hopefully another cruise line will step in and possibly as part of the uh, agreements with the uh, bankruptcy lawyers, if it goes to that point, um, another cruise line will step in and maybe purchase the cruise line and then resume its operations. Uh, they typically do longer cruises it's uh, in a different kind of category of luxury cruising. It does, they, the ships do world cruises. Uh, they also have river boats in Europe. They're currently suspended sailing at the moment anyway because of the pandemic. So yeah, crazy story. Uh, kind of crazy in terms of ships at the moment. Uh, you know, right when the pandemic happened, let's say at the start of well, March, April in 2020, uh, a few ships were sold off. Some were taken for scrapping. Um, a couple of cruise lines did go bankrupt, but they were smaller cruise lines, you know, with one or two ships. So it's expected of that to happen to ships where they just don't have the revenue coming in uh, to support the ongoing, you know, um, cost associated with owning a cruise line. So I know this is a longer video. I'm, again, I'm trying to cut them down. I'm doing them in one take. I do have my kind of uh, notes over here to reference. Uh, I do hope you like these cruise news videos. Uh, I did sort of have this all sort of down in my head. I'm just referencing a couple of words and numbers and dates here. So I didn't want to get anything kind of incorrect. Uh, there is a few other people that are reporting on it as well. I mean, I'm not the first person to do cruise news. Um, but yeah, I'm giving this a try on the channel. I do hope you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up um, and maybe post a comment. Uh, another video is waiting for you right here to check out after this one. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel. Bye.